Now, your 41 NBC AccuWeather forecast, presented by Volume Chevrolet. Well, right now in Dublin, we are seeing plenty of sun. Just a few of those thin, wispy clouds, 90 degrees. It feels like 98 with a 73 degree dew point right now. So humidity at 59%. You can see most of the cloud covers in our eastern counties right now. Looks we'll like we've got a few showers just off to the southeast that are just outside of our region. Nothing as of yet for us in middle Georgia rain wise, but I'm sure we'll see plenty as we go later into the afternoon. But right now, we're heating up here in the Peach State, and you can definitely see we got a heat advisory in effect till 7 p.m. later today. We need that heat to fuel those storms. It's going to be hot again this afternoon. In fact, today might be the hottest day of the week. I think it's going to be the hottest afternoon of the week in terms of real feel. Heat indices is going to be pushing close to 110 degrees today. I don't think anywhere is going to quite get over 110, so no melty face today, but uh, this is still really bad. We go into tonight and temperatures might actually be in the low 80s, but because of all that excess moisture, we're still going to feel like we're in the 90s to at least half the night. And then finally, bottom all morning, we're waking up and still feels like we're in the mid 80s. Here are the highs and heat indices for this afternoon, making up to 96 with a heat index of 107. Hot spot's going to be Milledgeville with a heat index of 109. You got McCray up to 106 later today in terms of the real feel. But the good news is we are going to be seeing more of that rain. We get a few isolated storms going as we get into the lunchtime hours. It's probably a little more than what this is showing here. It definitely was yesterday. Then we head into the later parts of the afternoon and evening, and that's when we get that second wave of storms to fire up, which is likely going to be more widespread. This is going to last past midnight and through much of the overnight hours. This is great sleeping weather. It's going to be heavy rain. There will be, uh, unfortunately, frequent cloud, uh, clouds of ground lightning. Um, but it is good sleeping weather. You don't have to worry about any tornadoes or anything like that with this. But then by tomorrow morning, guess what? Sunrise arrives and all that rain is gone. So at some point between, say, 1 a.m. and about 5 a.m., we're going to see that rain taper off. And then we will rinse and repeat the process as we head into tomorrow afternoon. The overnight lows are going to be in the mid to upper 70s all around middle Georgia. So very humid night. Once again, under mostly cloudy conditions, the highs for tomorrow still going to be hot. But but not quite as hot as what we have been seeing throughout the majority of this week. Coming up, we're going to talk about a cool down in 10 seconds on your seven day forecast. Volume Chevrolet, good oil changes for life, plus a 20 year, 200,000 mile warranty. Visit Volume Chevrolet, I 75 exit 187 in Forsyth. That's volumechevrolet.com. Your 41 NBC AccuWeather 7 day forecast is brought to you by Volume Chevrolet. We got good news and we got bad news to go through the next seven days. The good news is we're going to get a bit of a break from the heat wave because cloudier conditions and more storms are making their way in. So highs are returning back to the upper 80s. What's the bad news? Uh, the Atlanta NASCAR race, the second one, the Quaker State 400 is this weekend on Sunday. This is not the weather that you want to see with that being scheduled for this weekend.